What's up everyone, Super Tom here and today's video I will be sharing with you guys the fastest route I found to collect every material in one go so you can quickly craft your furniture, build that dream house of yours and live with your waifu or husband though, whoever that may be. So before we jump in, here are a few resources that will help you out tremendously. I'll put all these down in the description too so you can easily check them out. First is the Honey Hunter website. It shows you every craftable furniture and animal as well as the amount of material required to craft them. And number two, if you go to the top of the Honey Hunter website, you will see what's called an interactive map. Click on that and exploit every last bit of it because it's there to save your valuable time. This is a map that shows you all the location of literally everything in the open world. The materials for housing system has also been updated here too. There's no wood material just yet but once the patch 1.5 comes out, I'm sure there will be. And thirdly, my personal route that I've mapped out for everyone so feel free to click the link and download them for your own use if you like. Everything is linked down in the description. Description. So with that out of the way, here's the fast route for you to collect all the materials. Obviously we won't be collecting everything of each material otherwise this will be a 2 hours long video. This is a guide where if you want to get all of the materials you need to craft in one go then that's for you. Okay so here we go, I'll have the route map and the material we're collecting on the screen so it's easier for you to follow. First we'll be starting off at Stormbearer Point, then collect the mints. Next we go straight, afterward turn around and then you will be climbing that wall. Right at the top you see the sun set here and then turn left, go straight down and you will see some of the berries. Next go straight and there will be two mints right in front of you. Grab that, and then go straight again, a bit to the right, another mint. After that turn around, go straight near the rock over there, there will be some berries, grab those. Turn left, go straight, and then we will collect our vowel berries. There will be some more vowel berries up here, just go straight. After that, jump off this cliff and glide to the other side. You will see a mint down on this cliff here. Grab that. Turn around and then hop down here. You see the vowel berries. And then there will be another mint by going straight there. Okay, turn left, go straight and there will be two mints. Grab that and then jump to the other side of the rivers, grab the mints, file berries here and then there will be a mining post, don't forget to grab that because you will need mining posts as well. Once you're done with that, then we will continue to the next teleport point right there. From here, turn left, grab the mint, climb over the walls, the rock, whatever, the Grab that main, the sunset here should be on the left there, grab that as well. And then there will be a mid off of that fire post. Turn left a bit, there will be vowel berries, grab those and after that, head straight all the way to near the end of that cliff. You will see vowel berries again. Okay, grab that, sunset here will be right behind you and the mint as well and then turn right, there will be two mints near the cliff. Once you're done with that, jump off the cliff, glide down and vowel berries should be at the bottom of your feet. Okay, go straight here, Sunsetia is right there. Hop over this cliff and you will see some more Sunsetia. And then turn right. There will be some more Sunsetia and berries. Go straight here, Sunsetia again. There, there are a lot of Sunsetia around here. So don't forget to grab all of them. Turn left a bit and you will see berries. After that turn right. And some more Sunsetia. After you're done with that, we will go to Wolfendom. 
Okay, so from Wolfendom, turn left. There will be a mining post here. Again, you will need uh, no more ores for crafting, so don't forget the mining post. And then go straight. Here you will see some carrots. We will grab that and then hop over up on this wall. Alright, go straight. This is where there are going to be a lot of wolf hook in this area. So what you're going to do is you're going to do your best and grab all of the wolf hook in this area because that's pretty much the only place you will get wolf hook. There'll be some mittens around and some mining posts as well, so don't forget to grab all of them. And once you're done with all of the wolf hook here, then we will continue to the next area. You will travel to a place near Mingyun village. From here, turn around, you get that mint. Afterward, turn around again and there, go straight. All the way up, straight. Over the cliff. And then up near at the top of the cliff, you should see Sunsetia. Grab that, turn around again, and berries will be near the camping post. And then climb over the rocks, there will be Sunsetias as well. Once you're done with that, drop down here, there will be a mining post where you can grab Core Lapis. First place to get Core Lapis. Okay, once you grab that, head out of the mining post again, and then drop even further down the cliff, glide down, past that hurly troll post, where you drop down and grab the mint. Right, turn a bit right, there will be berries, turn right again, some more berries, head over here, there will be mint, and then turn left a bit, go straight, mints here as well. After that, turn left, berries and turn left again, there will be Sunsetia. Sunsetia, you go straight a bit, there will be mint, and then mint again. After this, we will travel to Wangshu Inn to get our silk flowers. Drop down here to grab all the silk flowers that we need. Silk flower here. Turn around, grab the mint. Then cross the bridge to get the rest of the silk flowers. Alright, once we're done with that, then we teleport to Hula Mount to get our Coral Lapis. Really, I'm trying my best here not to sightseeing and, you know, concentrate on the video for you guys. Alright, go straight, grab the Coral Lapis, turn around. Under this tree here, there should be some more Coral Lapis. This is the best place I found that you can actually get a lot of core lapis in one place. That's why I chose Mount Hula. Drop down here, more core lapis. Go down the stairs, right at the bottom of the stairs you should see another one. And then glide off this cliff, go straight down. Drop down here. <coughs> right. Grab that. Twitching nearly died. Okay. Grab that as well once we are done with that. Then we head to near Mount Tinhang. Here you turn around, there should be some berries. Drop right down this cliff, there will be mint. Drop a bit down more, call lapis. Okay, once you grab two of that, you climb up a bit again. Go to the other side and drop all the way down 
glide a bit before dropping down, please. Down here, there should be mint. After that, drop down here. There'll be Sunsetia. Turn left a bit and drop down here. There'll be mint. And then from here, climb up the hills a bit. Turn right, there will be berries. And then again, we drop down again for the mint. It's the mountain, guys. So bear with it. We're going to be doing a lot of climbing. Mint here, then turn right a bit up the hill. Call Lapis is here. Afterward, climb up here, jump across the waterfall, and the mint will be right there. After that, we teleport near Liwei Harbor. Then turn around, the mint should be around here. Finally found you, okay. And then you drop down, glide a bit. You see the yellow tree right there, drop down, and the mint should be down here. Then turn left, head straight, there should be mint. And then finally, the berries patch under the sunlight, as well as the mint. Okay, once you're done with that, you teleport to Liwei Harbor to get the rest of our silk flowers. There should be some silk flower at the back of the garden here near the bamboo patch. Go across, don't drown. That's what I did last time. I dropped my kuchin. More silk flowers. Silk flowers. And then grab the rest of the silk flowers. Now we're pretty much done with all the running arounds and collecting the plants. What we're going to do now is teleport to Catherine, go to the expedition post, and then we are going to mine some ores and carrots. I find that this is going to be the best place for you to grab the normal ores because that only need like 4 hours. So you'll be collecting a lot of them throughout the day. And then along with the carrots, you'll be able to collect a lot of them as well. 20 hours usually give you around 10 of the carrots, so uh, that's enough for us to grab the carrots as well. And same for leeway. That's all the plant material we need to get. Now as for the woods. Thanks to Hey It's Estef. Here are the location to get each of the wood. First is bamboo and you can find them in Chingsu village. Teleport to the village, turn around and you should see a whole patch of bamboo. The second location is a teleport point just outside of the village. This place is a forest of bamboo and personally, I never get tired of walking around here through the night because it just looks gorgeous. Next is birch. You find them at Starfell Lake at the Statue of the Seven. There's a whole forest here. Just go over the other side of the lake and you can chop them down. Another location is near the Rich Watch domain that just came out in patch 1.5. Birch will appear in that area around here as well. Next is Fragrant Cedar. You find them in the lake back of Springvale. And then the other location is in the Whispering Woods. Then we have Kuihua. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but you can find these in Falcon Coast. Just glide down that cliff and they should be there. And then another location is in the Dopa Gorge. Next is Fur. You find them when teleporting to the domain at Star Snatch Clip. And then another location is near Cecilia Garden. Just right around there, drop down the hill a bit and you will find them over here and on the other side as well. Then we have Sandbearer. They will be in Diwar Marsh around this area. Another location is in the point near Wormbreast Valley in Dragon's Spine, the place where Albedo does his research. And finally, we have Pine. They will be near Starglow Carven, and you will find a whole forest of them here. 
Well, that's all the material location you need to know for the crafting furniture in the housing system. This is just my personal route to collect all of them. There might be a faster road out there, so feel free to comment down if you know any. If you'd like me to do other videos on farming route for each individual materials, let me know in the comment down too. If I get enough interest, I'll make the videos. Hopefully, this was helpful to you guys. If it was, be sure to subscribe to my channels as I do my best to bring you the latest guides, news and updates about Genshin Impact with some funny moments as a cherry on top. With that, this is Tom wishing everyone a super day.